Yeah, hello scrappers. Thought I'd do a short take here on uh, what I brought in today. I gotta go back after another load tomorrow. Had other plans. I thought I was gonna get it all today, but yeah, I'll be doing good if I can get it all on the but uh in here I've got some good heavy pipe and got lots of angle iron and square tubing in here. Some of it's rusted up pretty good and others not too bad. Got this old uh motor and water pump here. A little fence spigot there, a water spigot, some wire. A couple boat anchors. You never know when you might need one of them. This is one of the legs that go on the, the cages that I've already pulled off the trailer. I thought, you know, better, better not pull it off. Or better stop and get, get the recording before I get too far unloaded or recording won't happen. Got some wire there. I'm going to try to pull it out real quick and set this camera down. Get it off my hand. You guys can see this or not it looks like copper so this will be good strippable wire it looks like it's every, every bit of it's got a little bit of weight there but on the trailer I got the big old tanks cut in half I don't know if it probably an old propane tank it's kind of what it looks like it's got feet on it. it's got a hook on this end so wouldn't surprise me at all if it wasn't an old propane tank. I picked up this little jewel, a little teapot. It's got a little wasp nest inside and a, and a rock. But uh, other than that, I hadn't really noticed any holes in it. So, the wife likes that. And I got this old cast iron bathtub. It looks like it was made to have the uh, the feet on it. If that thing had the feet on it, that'd be worth, at least the feet would be worth some money. There was five wheelbarrows in the pile and there's a couple more to go. And uh, you can see I got one there, it's got the metal metal wheel on it, metal handles, and another one here. Got the metal wheel. Looks like the axle's a little broke, but so. I may end up putting that on the one I've got or use it as is. But there's one of the cages there. I think these legs just slide up inside by by looking at that. That one down there. Of course I got nosy over here. So I'm gonna get the tractor out here and start unloading some of this. Got a nice big chunk of plate steel. Looks like it's uh, maybe three sixteenths, eighth inch or three sixteenths. A little bottle jack. I go into short iron pile. The bottom of this cage is pretty well rusted out and ex expanded metal. But that one's got a good heavy duty bottom. But I thought I'd get a, whole, a little video on this. A couple of rims there. Or one rim. I still got more to dig out of this pile. Like I guess I've got. At least three more wheelbarrows, a few more parcel cages. I got one pin that's about six by eight. So that's going to take up most of the bed. But uh, a lot of this is probably good project material in here. A couple trailer jacks. Probably aren't, trailer jacks probably aren't any good, but nice chunk of heavy duty metal there. So. Looks like a lot of this might be project material, keeping stuff. I'm thinking about getting one of them cheap plasma cutters. I've got those pickup beds to cut up. A few trucks and cars and whatnot out there to cut up. Yeah, there's... There's a bit of copper in that. So 
So I'll put that in there to be stripped. You might kind of get a better idea of some of that piping down in there, angle iron, tube, square tubing. Okay, I'm going to get off here on this and I'll try to show probably what I bring in tomorrow. And we'll see you later on. Well, back again, scrappers. This is second load for this weekend out of the same property. Actually, the third loader brought in, but from that property. Yeah, I still got another one, another load to go. You guys got a little trailer. Got a little coupler hitch on it. We got to load it up, and he's got a bunch of sheet tin. I think a couple feed troughs. We got a little bit of sheet tin and a little bit of other stuff down here. I got uh, four plastic barrels with the tops cut out. Those will come in handy for me. I throw my aluminum in plastic barrels. First time and last time I was out there, they wanted to keep this water trough. But then this morning when I got there, he said, "Okay, you go ahead and get it." And then I got a little bitty feed trough here. Another, another old metal wheel barrel with metal wheel. So it's pretty intact. It looks like they used a piece of all thread for the axle. Hey, it works. Slap some grease in there and probably be good. Yeah, it's a little rusted out, but hey, it won't hold water anyway. Another junk wheelbarrow. This one is just a small cage, and then I got a small cage in this cage. Wire cage. So, that one I might be able to run through the auction. And then I got a big old hen house, I guess it is. This is almost eight foot long. I said I didn't have much room left, left of the trailer. This side side up against a barn. And it's got a couple 2x4 roosts in there. The thing was kind of down in the dirt a little bit, so when I started pulling on it, it kind of bent that in a little bit. And all this stuff was kind of down in the dirt. I probably should have brought the tripod and recorded pulling this stuff out of the dirt and trying to get the sod and the dirt out of it had to flip them all over it was interesting we have got part of a cage here about five foot tall of course there's no bottom or end on it and then I got a, a squeeze chute looks like I got a couple of handles here for picking it up and moving it but, uh, I think it's for goats So I can put that online. Not sure what to ask for it though. If anybody's got any ideas, go ahead and leave it in the comments. May have tried to do some uh, research, find out a good price for it. No telling if it's, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> don't know really where to start. And I got an old water trough in here too that's got some holes in it. So I just kind of shoved it here in the middle after I had everything winched on. No, I don't have to get it on the next load. So I told her I could go back out Saturday, but they said she said she's going to be out at the farm on Saturday. So I go out there Sunday and get that load. So I guess I can get over to the big job here Saturday, try to get a load out of there. Which I was really planning on going over there today and getting a load, but since I had this one, I put put it off. keep losing my weekends bringing some more stuff in I'd like to get some of this stuff processed loaded up and get it out of here but I guess I'll get it out of here one of these days bring it in while it's there to be gotten so I'm gonna if I jump my tractor run down in the field take a look figure, try to figure out where I can unload this stuff at so hey if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up hit that like button if you're uh, new to my channel, take a look around and see if I earn your subscription. I do quite a bit of different stuff. Uh, you might check out playlists. And uh, if 
you're looking for tools or odds and ends that uh, we use in the scrapping, I do have an Amazon affiliate link. There will be a description in the uh, down or a link to the uh, in the description below. Tongue tied there. So I'm gonna run down there, check it out, and get this thing unloaded. It's already 2:30 in the afternoon. In a few more hours, it'll be dark. So you guys take care. Happy scrapping. Bye bye.